some beings have contemplated this question. All the other questions have, uh, have fallen now. Only one question is remaining for them. Hmm? Even the final question, who is perceiving even? Final question, final response. Who is it? What is it? Can it ever be answered? Can it ever be answered? Is there any answer to the question, who am I? Who watches all this? Cannot be an answer. If you go to the edge of a cliff, you take the final step, now you're at the edge. What will the next step bring you? Can you take another step? The next step will not be like any other step. You will go and make another step, but it will not be like any other step you make. Huh? All your journey of questions have come to the last question, the last step you made. Now one step will take you where? <clears throat> Are you willing to live with a paradox for the rest of your life? Nobody can answer it for you. Some of you have heard this story before because I told it a few times. Mm -hmm. And it's very much to do with this question. The story is like this, that there are three, three beings. Mm -hmm. They find themselves at the edge of the ocean. They don't know how they got there. They just find that they are, their life is by the, the edge of the ocean, on the beach three beings, very small, they look like dolls. Huh? They don't know how they got there, but every day they get up and they play together. One doll is made of tears, of water and salt. Another doll is made of salt. And the, other, the last doll, made of sand. Sand doll, a salt doll, and a tear doll. And they play together every day. What fun they have on this beach. No? But they don't know where they came from. They have no parents, they have no relatives. Just these three dolls, they play each day on the edge of the ocean. One morning, they got up and uh, they were sitting together. And the salt doll said, you know, guys, I've got to tell you, I had a strange dream last night. I dreamt that I came out of this ocean. I actually dreamt I came out of this ocean. So the tear doll says, whoa, 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 slow down. No. Have I been speaking in my, in my sleep? Because this is my dream also. I dreamt I came out of this ocean. Just I came out of the ocean. So the sand doll is listening to both of them. So, okay, okay, what's the joke here? Because this is also my dream. I also had a dream I came out of this ocean. How it can be? How is this possible? So this became very excited for very exciting. We all maybe came out of this ocean. But the Sandor says, but I feel like I'm most like the ocean. I am more like the ocean than any of you. Maybe you uh, both came. The salt says, What are you saying? The salt doll say. Huh? Can you feel the breeze that come, even the breeze that come from the ocean, tastes like me, salt. I am very much more like the ocean than any of you. The tear doll says, oh, you're joking. The ocean is watery, look at me, I'm so watery. None of you is watery like me. So then this competition arose in them. Who, who is more like the ocean? Who is the most like the ocean? So this was very exciting. 
They said, okay, who will go first? They, all of them want to go first. So they said, no, 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 let's draw straws. So they picked straws and it came that the first one to go was the tear doll. She was meant to go to the ocean to find out what she can discover about this ocean. And she will come back and report to the others. Okay, guys, you know what? I am like the ocean, but maybe you are more like the ocean. You see? So she had wings also. And it was her turn. She flew off very high, beautiful, and then dipped and went towards the ocean. As soon as she touched the ocean, she merged with the ocean, being made of salt and water. No research. So the salt doll and the sand doll are waiting for this tear doll to come. And salt doll especially is very impatient. She said, no, no, what's happening? Come on, you know, it's kind of take, I know the ocean is big, but you know, come on, let's find out something. Anyway, look, when she comes back, keep her here. I am going, it's my turn. Salt doll was very smart, had a nice salt jacket, nice salt hat. Started walking out into the ocean. Huh? But as she is walking out into the ocean, every bit that touched the water was disappearing. Going. Then the knees, and everything beneath the knees fell away. Like this, everything, as she goes. Everything that touched the water is melting. Finally, the jacket also goes. Only a little bit salt hat for a minute. And that's gone. Sand doll is waiting. I felt this was going to be a really good game. But nobody's come back. Nobody come back. And hours are passing and she's getting tired. Also lonely because every day she's playing but nobody to play. She thought, okay, I'll just lie down here and rest. So she lies down on the beach. The time is passing and the moon is rising and the tide is rising also, and the waves are coming. And she's lying. The wave comes and touches her legs and they became sand. Next the hip. Finally, only little hand and head. And last wave. Everything gone. Who was there to come back and report about who is most like the quality of the ocean. I don't know if this is a terrible story <laughs> or a beautiful story. It just depends where you're looking from. <laughs> Now there's a biscuit doll. <laughs> no. What does the inside of Muji's stomach look like? <laughs> we won't go further with this story. <laughs> Someone handed him a biscuit.